reality is any psych med that you're taking on a daily basis or, or, or very regularly, your body develops a physiological dependence on it. Period. End of story. I, I, if you're told to stop, you've been taking, say, for example, if you've been taking Prozac for, for two years, and you know, at a certain point, you're like, hey, maybe I don't need this anymore. I'm feeling good. My circumstances change. I've learned. I've grown. I'm taking care of my health. And and you, your your doctor might tell you, okay, well, just cut that in half for a few weeks and then stop. Worst thing they'll tell you is cold turkey. Disastrous. Second. First thing they'll tell you, cut it in half for a couple weeks and stop. Or cut it in half for a couple weeks and then half again for a couple weeks and then stop. Countless people go through torture, what they'll use the words torturous, horrendous, worst experience of my life, withdrawal symptoms. And you are 100% right that the withdrawal symptoms mimic the original illness or illness or distress. It mimics that. So then the person is then immediately told, oh, look, see, you were sick. Go back on the medication. And so people, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands or millions of people are stuck on meds in a merry-go-round in this, for this very thing because this whole phenomenon of withdrawal, it's, it's surreal to me. Yeah. It's just absolutely surreal that that's not acknowledged.